Body Found in Freezer in San Diego Home by Out of Town Family According to authorities, a family in San Diego discovered a corpse in a freezer, but it's still unclear how it got there. According to the San Diego Authorities Department, out-of-town family members discovered the deceased in a Zion Avenue house at around 11.45 a.m. on Saturday and notified the authorities right away. Although no further physical features have been verified, it is said that the body is thought to be female. There will be an official identification in due course. The unusual location of the body led to the call to the Homicide Investigations Division of the Police Department. Detectives are continuing to gather information to understand what happened and why the body was inside the freezer, police said. Given the condition of the corpse, it is impossible to ascertain the cause of death right away, and it is unclear if there were any violent injuries involved. Mariah Carey and Brian Tanaka parted ways after seven years. After seven years together, dancer Mariah Carey and choreographer Brian Tanaka have called it quits. In a statement posted on Instagram, Tanaka, a dancer and creative director who had previously collaborated with the celebrity, revealed the split. The 40-year-old said the split was amicable and that Carey, 54-year-old, and her incredible children had enriched his life in ways words cannot capture. With mixed emotions, I share this personal update regarding my amicable separation from Mariah Carey after seven extraordinary years together," he wrote in a message shared with his 239,000 Instagram followers. Our decision to embark on different paths is mutual, and as we navigate these separate journeys, we do so with profound respect and an overwhelming sense of gratitude for the invaluable time we've shared. The memories we've created and the artistic collaborations are etched in my heart forever. He went on to praise Carrie's dedication to her family and commitment to her craft, before saying he was looking to the future. I eagerly anticipate continuing my journey, knowing my passion for inspiration, dance, and the creative arts will resonate in the unfolding chapters," he wrote. Carrie initially got to know Tanaka when he accompanied her on her 2006 The Adventures of Mimi tour as her backup dancer. After that, in 2014, she wed American TV personality and comedian Nick Cannon, who happens to be the father of her 12-year-old twins, Moroccan and Monroe. For Christmas, All I Want is in 2017, the singer announced her relationship with Tanaka for the first time. When fans saw he did not accompany Carrie on her Merry Christmas one and all. Tour in November, there was speculation about their breakup. Tesla worker injured by robot that pinned him to wall with its claws, facts a post. According to accounts, a robot at Tesla's massive facility in Texas hurt an engineer by pinning him against the wall. The 2021 event was discovered by way of an injury log submitted to regulatory bodies. Robotics was identified as the ACOS object and laceration, cut, open wound, as the kind of harm. Two witnesses told U.S. technology website the information that the guy was dragged through blood from his arm and back by the robot that pushed its claws into his torso. One witness described the engineer as leaving a trail of blood behind him as he plummeted down a chute used to gather scrap metal after another worker pressed the emergency stop button, freeing him from the robot's hold. According to the information, the event occurred when the engineer was configuring the robot's control software to cut aluminum automobile parts. While two of the robots were turned off, the third was unintentionally left running. It entangled the worker in its claws as it performed its routine movements. The information claims that in 2022, nearly 1 in 21 employees at Tesla's Giga Texas production suffered an injury at work, compared to the industry average of 1 in 30. Since 2021, when Tesla CEO Elon Musk declared he was moving the company's headquarters from California, the Texas location has served as the company's worldwide headquarters. Musk relocated to Texas in 2020, and his rocket business, SpaceX, also has a launch pad near the southernmost point of the state. Charlie Sheen assaulted by neighbor in Malibu home. According to authorities, Charlie Sheen, the former member of Two and a Half Men, was beaten by a neighbor in Los Angeles. The incident, which happened in Sheen's house on Wednesday at around 1 p.m., resulted in the arrest of a lady. 
Upon contacting the parties involved, deputies identified Charlie Sheen as a victim of assault, police confirmed. Electra Schrock was taken into custody on charges of domestic burglary and assault with a dangerous weapon and force likely to cause grievous bodily harm. When he opened the door, the lady pushed her way inside, according to entertainment news source TMZ. She allegedly tried to strangle him and tore his shirt, according to TMZ, but Sheen was not transported to the hospital. According to US officials, Ms. Schrock will appear in court on Friday in Los Angeles. Sheen allegedly earned roughly $1.5 million every episode of Two and a Half Men, making him the best-paid actor on television during the height of his career. However, Sheen was fired from the comedy for disparaging remarks he made about Chuck Lorre, the show's creator, and Ashton Kutcher took her place. Beginning in 2003 with Sheen as the hedonistic bachelor Charlie Harper, Two and a Half Men ran until 2015 when Kutcher replaced Sheen's previous co-stars John Cryer and Angus T. Jones in a new main role. Pornhub's owner, Alo Holdings fined over a sex trafficked videos scandal. According to U.S. authorities, the owner of Pornhub has acknowledged profiting more than $864,000 from sex trafficking by uploading recordings of women on the website without getting their permission. Alo Holdings knowingly enriched itself by turning a blind eye to victims who told the company they had been lied to and forced into the videos, James Smith, head of the FBI's New York office said. The Montreal-based company, formerly known as MindGeek, has consented to pay the U.S. government over $1.8 million in addition to compensating each victim individually. The business has promised to give victims compensation under an agreement between ALO and prosecutors, but it is unclear who is qualified and how to apply. It was discovered that ALO had hosted movies and taken money from Girls Do Porn, an adult film production firm that has since shut down. The owners of Girls Do Porn were found guilty of several offenses related to sex trafficking. Breon Peace, U.S. Attorney for the Eastern District of New York, said in the statement, It is our hope that this resolution, which includes certain agreed payments to the women whose images were posted on the company's platforms and an independent monitorship brings some measure of closure to those negatively affected. Known as the, the YouTube of Porn, Pornhub is one of the biggest websites with explicit material in the world. Prosecutors said that ALO collected $864,000 between 2017 and 2020, money that insiders knew or should have known was coming from girls do porn sex trafficking enterprises. Even after several of the ladies made direct appeals to the corporation, the removal of all the non-consensual footage was done too slowly and with insufficient thoroughness by the firm. Prosecutors claimed that the business earned over $100,000 from Girls Do Porn in addition to over $764,000 in payments from advertisements that were linked to the production firm. In a statement, ALO Holdings stated that it deeply regrets allowing Girls Do Porn to host its content. It said that Girls Do Porn provided them with written consent forms that seemed to be signed by the ladies, therefore it was unaware that the forms had been obtained through deception and pressure. On Wednesday, the EU said Pornhub and two other major porn sites would need to prove the ages of their users to keep people safe on the internet.